Yeah. Oh. oh it's so hard holding it the other way around. Hi. I ain't got the hat on. I didn't yesterday either. Sorry. Half arsed advent calendars. Oh, hello. I may have just had to cut a bit out because I may have accidentally shown the address on the uh, packages. Yeah, I was just saying half arsed advent calendars, but they're always half arsed, aren't they? <laughs> right, door number eight. Where are we today? That's nine. God, who invented advent calendars? The doors hide the numbers when they're open. There. Open cheek. Oh. Well, that's a pretty cool one. It's a Christmas ornament, decoration, and a train. Double whammy. Can I guess it through the foil? Dunno. I'm guessing an angel. What the hell is wrong with this one? This one doesn't open. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I might guess an angel so far. The other doors are popping open. Oh no. Right, let's have a feel. Oh no, it's a toy soldier, that's gotta be. Look at the square edges. It is as well. I'm getting the numbers up there. No. I was a bit worried going into this advent calendar. Got a few wrong. But now, now it's all turning around. Hmm. I've got a new cable today. Oh, for the monitor. A DVI to DVI. Instead of a DVI to HDMI. You know, just to prevent it having to convert the signal. Anyway. Bow, 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 bow. Now, number eight. The cat and mouse game. Use your mouse to control. Control what? Grab the cheese, probably the mouse then. Avoid the cats. Definitely the mouse. Pay attention to the 10 seconds time limit to grab the cheese. Alright, let's get the story on this one. Grab the cheese and beware of cats. Christmas is a time to enjoy sweet unwrapped candies, tasty cookies, sublime chocolates and... Oh no, all sorts of new and delicate foods. Unusual treats and rare foods. However, for some, there is only one treat regardless of the place or the time of year. Cheese! Mmm, yes. Here you are now, as a little mouse. No, not yet. In a minute. And like any self-respecting mouse, you're quite voracious. Oh, vor. Your one and only goal is to get as much pieces of cheese, I think you mean as many, yeah, as possible, whenever they appear in the board. I think you mean on the board, maybe. Yes, they look quite yummy, and your pointy nose wants to eat them all. What? Do mice eat cheese with their nose? And for that, just slide on the piece of cheese that you'd like to eat and it'll disappear inside your gluttony mouse mouth. Don't you mean gluttonous? Bloody hell. Who made this website? Beware of the cats. Their one and only goal is to catch you and behind their feline smiles they are quite ferocious. <laughs> feline ferocious. Rawr. There will be increasingly more of them trying to catch you. Oh, it's going to be bloody Pac-Man, isn't it? Try to wedge your way between them, and don't get caught if you want to grab that piece of delicious cheese. Be very careful if a cat catches you, it's game over. Oh, fuck hole. Oh, no. Oh! Can't be us. Oh, no, it's just with the mouse. They're well happy. I could make a game like this in a second. What if a cat appears right on me? I bet that can happen. Cheeses. They expect you to be able to get a thousand. And over a million points. Oh, I think a cheese spawned on me there. I got a pop without moving. Can I? No. I can't right click to pause the game. There was an old Neopets game where you could like... You could pause it by right clicking and then just move the mouse to the top of the screen or, or somewhere else that's safe and then like...
close the right click menu and the game would proceed, proceed, progress. I used that cheat once, other than that I never really played any Opets. I tried to, mostly because Scorchio is adorable. Wait, are the cats disappearing over time? No, they just start off as grey when they fade in. Oh no, more cheese doesn't appear until you collect one. Oh I see, there's a time limit going down as well. As if there wasn't enough to watch out for already. How many bloody cats does this person have? Oh. Have they stopped spawning? No. You seem to get like, I don't know how long. Not a lot. I don't know how the time's working. Sometimes it just seems to pause the time and sometimes it adds some. Oh, I see. It pauses and then it adds some. Gives you about... Oh no, it just puts you back up to 11 seconds. So it's not 10 seconds. As long as you get a piece of cheese within 11 seconds, you're fine. Mm. But I guess the longer you take, the more cats spawn. Maybe. Or maybe it's just based on how many cheeses you get. Maybe every five. What? Fuck off! I didn't get touched, mate. Maybe I did. Give me a photo finish. No, don't. Let's move on to... Hmm, what should we do today? I think... Let's have a talk to Transformer with how-to stuffs as usual. We'll go back to the other one someday. Right. <clears throat> On the ob, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine special stamps. Oi, oh no, hang on. <laughs> Bloody thing, roar! Nine special stamps. Oh, how I love those Christmas stamps. I love to see their different designs and different themes. The stamps in the photos above were used in two packages. My father-in-law wanted to send one package to his brother and his father. It is very close to Christmas, so I was glad to help. The stamps I used were for the one... for the brother. The stamp that was used for the father is for a young lady that I work with. What? It was for the father. She is a, the granddaughter of the brother. I chose the poem. Oh no, there's a weekly character limit on this now, apparently. Great. Luckily we don't do it too often. Let's try and naff it up a bit. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a demon head mace of purest silver and the third day of Christmas my true love gave to me a wizard staff made of purest gemstone and the fourth day of Christmas my true love gave to me a goblin feast fork and plate and the fifth day of Christmas my true love gave to me a loot of absolute silk Oi, it counts those characters! Oi! How dare you count the character limit against how much the Talk the Transformer makes? I didn't type that many. Um, and the sixth day of Christmas my true love gave to me an ancient book of magic and the seventh day of Christmas my true love gave to me a very small chest containing jeweled magical runes. Ooh, this is a lot of cool stuff, I want all this. And the eighth on the 8th is such a weird word, day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a big old hefty, drippy, slimy, stinky, beeping Christmas tree, posted by, after a year of living in Park Slope, Brooklyn, we moved across the river to Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Oh. It was a bittersweet move, bitter for the obvious reasons, but sweet because we were all excited to be living in Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Yeah, despite the fact that we were living in a small, aging, drafty brownstone, we were happy. What's a brownstone? A poop house? Maybe it was the fact that the majority of our neighbours were barely twenty, one years old, and quite a bit of them were bratty and... God. 
on the ninth day of Christmas, what shall it do to me? A stinky... Oh, no, just a stinky. Probably sock, if I had to guess. Hello? Hello? It broke. Ah, a stinky... Oh, a stinky diaper. Great. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a loud scream. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a very tired mum. Well, yeah, probably by that point in the month. Um, on the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two boogers for my blankie. What the hell? Why do you have boogers on your blankie? On the final day of Christmas, are there thirteen? I don't know, I'm going to continue after that. My true love gave to me a time out for my sister. After three days in New York and five days in Washington DC, we made it home to Milwaukee on Friday night, in time for me to go to work the next day. We had a great... doubt that. Where did we get to? Final. Whatever. On the 14th day of Christmas, a trilo gave to me, a dragon who was having a... Aren't there 25 days of Christmas? Yeah. I don't know. What was the dragon having? A wank? Oh, sorry. Kids show? No, it isn't. The website has slowed down. A lot of people are using it because they predicted that I'm making my video right now, so they're using it all at the same time. Yes, hello? Maybe it doesn't know how to process 14th day of Christmas. Maybe that doesn't exist. Shall we try again? I don't know. Yes, we shall. No. No, I think the website's just about had it. I guess there are only 13 days of Christmas. How about we just go back to the first, because I, I can't have a Christmas without a dragon. Oh! No, it doesn't even like the first day anymore. I think it's had enough. Well, that's a shame, but that is. Oh, that's the point. Maybe there should be a Giza Christmas adventure on AI Dungeon. Yeah, there should be. There's been a Giza Christmas game. Let's try and remake the game in AI Dungeon. Soon. TM. Whenever we get a game or something that isn't interesting enough. Right, well, sorry. I guess that's the end of Talk to Transformer. Haven't even reached my bloody weekly limit and it's... It's robbing me of the rest of my fun. How about if I just do... On the first day of Christmas. Shit happened. What is this? No, uh, Total Transformers had enough. Sorry, I'm not. They should be. Well, thanks for watching this Advent Calendars. Uh, see you tomorrow for another one. Remember to check out the main channel if you haven't already. Piece of Pie Software for daily holiday specials over there. 7pm GMT every day, and uh, other than that, happy holidays, see you tomorrow for whatever's tomorrow. Goodbye!